Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a profound honor to address you on the occasion of this high-level dialogue on energy. Seychelles, as a small island developing state, is accelerating its efforts to scale up renewable energy, increase energy efficiency in the country, and move to green transport. As a large oceanic state, reliant on the ocean for many things, Seychelles is doing its best to transform our energy systems and in doing so contribute its fair share in combating the climate crisis. So far, we have invested in solar farms, a wind farm, and will host the first independent power producer in Africa to have a utility scale grid connected solar PV plant. We are also putting in place financing schemes to encourage private entities and residents to install solar PV on buildings to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels and in turn reduce pressures on our foreign exchange reserves. Moreover, we are working on a national e-mobility strategy and regulatory and policy frameworks for electric vehicles. We are shifting to low carbon technology to substantially reduce our greenhouse gas emissions through refrigeration and air conditioning so as not to raise our carbon footprint. As Seychelles is accelerating its efforts to scale up renewable energy in the country, we will take this occasion to connect and consult with international partners for suitable investment opportunities in renewable energy. We will also discuss future energy sources for the country to facilitate collaboration and cooperation with key stakeholders. Such a partnership would strengthen the role renewable energy would play in balancing our country's energy mix and would contribute in addressing its long-term energy security. Seychelles aims for transformational change from a current target of 15% renewables by 2030 to a strategy for 100% by 2050 in our updated and enhanced NDC in keeping with the IPCC's special report on global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius. To achieve these targets, Seychelles needs to move away from fossil fuels and embrace renewable energy on a large scale. This is what will allow us to meet our energy needs, lower our carbon emissions, and mitigate the adverse effects of climate change. We are committed to providing sustainable energy to our population at affordable rates and also attain UN SDG 7. To do so, seeds like the Seychelles need access to appropriate financing that will facilitate energy transformation and support the implementation of the Paris Agreement commitments and achievement of the sustainable development goals. Increased ambitions of Seychelles nationally determined contributions and renewable energy targets cannot be realized if we do not address challenges such as varied, fragmented financing with stringent financing procedures, reduced access to financial assistance because of the country's GDP level, and also if we do not find innovative ways to alleviate the country's debt burden. Supporting policies, legislations, as well as promotional schemes are being prepared and shall be implemented in the near future. But we count on the continued attention and the support of key development partners to work with small island states like Seychelles to showcase the importance of multilateralism and durable partnerships to strengthen climate change mitigation, adaptation efforts, and to contribute to the recovery from the COVID pandemic. I thank you.